YouTube, my name is Elise and I'm coming at you with another video. And this time it's gonna be all about military educational benefits. I've already done a military benefits video, which kind of is a overview of benefits, but this one I'm gonna really zero in on just telling you guys about the educational benefits of both the service member and the spouse. Um, a lot of people don't know but there are things to help you go to college or even get any type of higher education or certification or vocational study trade school for basically free or discounted. So a lot of people don't know that. So today I'm going to be going over it. So first things first is the GI Bill. So for me, I've actually had experience with the GI Bill. My freshman year of college, the first semester, I actually got to use my stepdad's GI Bill and he transferred it over to me to use it for that one semester. So that was great. During that semester, I was able to get a housing benefit, which was about $1,500 a month that I got in my bank account. And that was just for housing and food and it was kind of like the room and board that you would get it for. It covered my tuition. So my tuition was fully paid for for that semester. And also, on top of that, you also get money for books, too. So you get money up to $1,000 for books and supplies that you can use. So it's actually a great benefit um, for you. And my stepdad, he was actually able to transfer it to all of us, all of our, his stepkids. So we all kind of got a little bits and pieces of it. Now, with the GI Bill, there's also educational things that you have to, that you kind of have to keep as, as a standard. You couldn't get below a 2.0 and you had to uh, maintain a full-time status while you were in school. He had the post 9-11 GI Bill, which is, which is where you can transfer the benefits over to dependents after six years of service. So of active duty service. To be clear, I am going to do a video where I really dig into it because there's two different types of GI Bills. And my husband actually got to choose when he joined the military on whether or not he would do the Montgomery GI Bill or whether he would do the post 9-11 GI Bill. So they actually work very differently when it comes to school. And I know that the post 9-11 bill can be transferred over to dependents and that's including your spouse and your children as well. So that's just something to think about. Your kids can basically go to school for free with the GI Bill. So it's actually a great benefit. Your spouse can go to school or even the service member can go back to school and use your GI Bill. Like my husband, he's thinking about going to law school. And so he's thinking about using his GI Bill to do that, which then will make it completely free for that, for, uh, for him getting his law degree. So it just depends on how you want to use it. We can always save it and give it to our son when he gets older. So it's actually a great benefit for military service members and military families. Something that I also took advantage of when I was getting my master's degree, they had two different rates. They had your regular rate that people would pay when they just their regular tuition rate. And then they had a rate that was for military service members and dependents. So a lot of people don't know, but those military rates, a lot of the time applies to dependents as well. As long as you call the school, you let them know you're a dependent. Sometimes they do ask for verification of that and you should be able to produce whatever they're asking for very easily. And you'll be able to get that discounted college rate. And a lot of sometimes it's $100 less a credit which makes a huge difference if you're going for your master's degree or your bachelor's degree or your associate's degree. It literally makes a night and day difference with your overall expenses of college. Next one, scholarships. So of course there's scholarships for everything. So service members can get scholarships, spouses, dependents can get scholarships just for being a military dependent. Just with being military affiliated, you can get scholarships. So definitely look into them. Definitely try to apply. If you do see anything available, 
try to apply to it. I know sometimes it requires um, you know, to have a certain GPA or for you to write essays, but just do the work and it'll pay off in the end. You know, you'll have some money to go towards college. I actually was able to get a scholarship too when I went to school. I actually took advantage of as much stuff as I could. So please take advantage of these things, you guys. It's very beneficial. Uh, so going over to when you're done with school, when you're done with school, a service member can call their student loan provider and get a lower interest rate just for being a service member. They will set your interest rate. I don't know what the percentage is, but they don't charge service members over a certain interest rate. And that is for federal loans. Now, I'm not sure about private loans because those are different than federal loans. So private loans may work a little bit differently, but if you have a federal loan with the Department of Education, you will be able to take advantage of a lower interest rates on your student loans, which is super helpful. So the next thing that service members can take advantage of is TA benefits. So tuition assistance benefits is something that service members can take advantage of to go to school for basically free military pays for your tuition. So it does work differently between enlisted and officers and with the amount that the military will pay for your, for your college tuition. So if you're going towards your bachelor's degree, if you want to get your first bachelor's, it is it can be completely free with TA benefits. And for that, you have to go through the education center um, on base in order to take advantage of the TA benefits. The next thing is for also once you once you graduate is public service loan forgiveness. So there's a lot of stuff in the news about public service loan forgiveness, but it is something that you can take advantage of when you graduate college and you have student loans. So basically the way that it works, well, the way I'm going to caveat that because they are making a lot of changes to it currently with the new presidential administration. But the way that it works is that you pay 120 payments, qualifying payments on your student loans for 10 years. And it equals out to 120 payments, qualifying payments. Then you are able to get your student loans forgiven after that. Now, they are making a lot of changes to it. I do want to stress that. And it might not work the same, but in the past, it typically works like that. And that was for service members. And also, it worked for people who worked for the government as well. So I actually, my student loans never went into repayment. So I actually haven't been able to take advantage of this one. But I did sign up for it. And it is a very easy process of getting your employer to just verify that you work there. And as long as you can get your employers and verify, hey, you are a service member or hey, you do work for the federal government, then you are able to get, um, you are able to take advantage of public service loan forgiveness. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy on it right now, just in general, but it is something to look into for your student loans to get them forgiven after 10 years. The next thing, military certifications. A lot of times people don't know, but when you're in the military, you can take advantage of a lot of different things that can help you in the civilian world too. So I suggest if you are a service member to take advantage of those classes and getting those free certifications that usually people would pay thousands of dollars to get. My sister, I know that she has taken some classes to get her certification and with her MOS, and now she's able to apply those same certifications to outside work. When she, and whenever she gets out of the military and she becomes a civilian employee, she'll be able to take those same certifications and use them in the outside world. So if you guys have the opportunity to do it, definitely take advantage of it. I just want to let you guys know that if there's so many things that you can do to get your education paid for with the military. This is not an all-encompassing video. There's other things that you can do. And so 
just take advantage of all your opportunities. Definitely go to the Education Support Center. Talk to them. They may be able to point you in the direction to get you more, to get you as, as much as you need to do for to get that education. So that brings me to the end of my video, you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, ask me any questions. And thank you for watching. <laughs>